Hey guys, this is Ashish from Guiding Tech and in today's quick video, I'm going to talk about the best Microsoft Office alternatives that you can use. Now, there's nothing wrong with Microsoft Office. It's a great piece of software, but then it comes with a heavy price tag. And if your company isn't paying for it, paying for this from your own pockets, well, it can be quite a task for most of the users out there. Now, even the Microsoft Office, like the Office Cloud subscription is quite expensive. And for such reasons, this video will talk about the free alternatives that you can use for your office needs. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's get started and have a look. So the very first app in the list is LibreOffice and this one has been around for a long time now. Most of the people already use it and for good reasons. I mean, it is one of the closest um, matching application that you can get as an alternative for Microsoft Office. Now, unlike most Office suits out there that only has three alternatives to the Microsoft softwares, LibreOffice has Writer, Calculator, Impress, Draw, Base, Math, and even Charts. It feels like a premium alternative to Microsoft Office, except that it's a free solution and it's open source, which also means that there's a wide community supporting the project. As such, if you run into any trouble, help is just a couple of clicks away. Also, you can already see the software resembles Microsoft Office almost perfectly and with a full-fledged file compatibility, switching from Office to Libre is quite easy for most of the users. Now, the next one in the list is OpenOffice and it's from the house called Apache. And this is also open source and it's a very prominent name for, I mean, as long as I can remember. But then here's a fun fact. A lot of developers actually move from the Libre, I mean, move to the LibreOffice from OpenOffice. But that doesn't mean that it has gotten any uh, slower in development. In fact, the latest one was bang on with so many features. Also, similar to LibreOffice, OpenOffice also uses open document format. You get the same compatibility, a slightly tweaked interface and pretty much everything you'd come off to expect from an Office suit. The one issue here I notice is that the standard template are kind of lackluster. So if you are someone who takes a lot of inspiration from custom templates, then this might not be for you. But then apart from it, it's good to go for everybody out there. Now moving on, the next tab in the list is Free Office, yes, free Microsoft Office. I mean, you just strike the Microsoft out there and then you get the name Free Office. Now talking about it, the suit itself is fully compatible with all the Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint formats. This means that you can not only view, but save files in formats such as DOCX, XLSX, the PPTX, I mean, the newer XML file formats for these documents. It also supports the older ones such as PPT and XLS. Now, one interesting feature that you get here is that you can also customize wherever you want a ribbon menu or a classic toolbar. So not only does it suits everybody's taste out there, but it also makes migration so much easier for people who are in different version. I mean, who are using different versions of the Microsoft products. Now, next up in the list is WPS Office. And uh, this is also a very prominent name and basically, if you don't want so much from your office, I mean, if you just want PowerPoint presentation kind of a thing or document writer, then you can actually use this because the interface is quite solid. Now, the way it works is easy. You get three apps, writer, presentation and spreadsheets. And you also get a pre-UDF reader inside the suit. The free suit also offers one GB of cloud storage. So there's that. And you get compatibility with all the Microsoft format without any issues. Also, the company has worked on making the software lightweight for over the years and even a potato PC can run it. Now, the free version does come with an ad bundle software, but then you can choose not to install it while you're installing this particular product. And also, if you like this, you can use it on your Android smartphones as well. Now, the next one in the list is Polaris and this one can be considered as one of the best competitions for WPS Office. Now you can think of Polaris as more secure and business oriented form of WPS, especially since it's used by the folks at Amazon and Samsung. Similarly to WPS, you get one GB of cloud storage, except this time it's backed by Amazon cloud services. 
you also get same format compatibility better language support and support for pdf editing and conversion along with so much more and for the last two we have some cloud alternatives and the very first in the list has to be the google suit so as we all know google offers google docs google sheets google slides and google forms and they are all web based applications though you can install them to run inside your browser via an extension even when you're offline but then 80% of that is online now if you talk about the interface it's very different when you compare it from microsoft and the suit definitely lacks the robustness but i bet that 80% of the users out there google docs should just do the job also if i'm not wrong most of you are already using google docs i mean this has to be a go to alternative but then some way down the line you don't i mean you really want something to be installed on your computer and if that's the reason you are watching this video please do let me know in the comment section and now finally we have microsoft office online in the list and uh, it's just like microsoft office for your i mean it's so much like microsoft office that you are running on a computer but it's cloud based and it's completely free so the idea here is pretty simple you get the familiar office experience the one you know and trust and there's nothing new to learn also it's web based but then you get free 5 gbs of office storage so you can edit your files anywhere or everywhere but then coming to think about it they have their offline product which they want to sell so you'll not get all the features of the offline product if you compare it with the online web based tool but then for most of the users i think for 70 to 80% of the users out there the online version would just be fine i mean it's compatible with all the files it's so much similar to microsoft office i mean there are a few features i mean the advanced features are missing but if you really just want to get your excel data or some documentations that you need to like quickly get it done you can count on this one and just like always i'll provide you with the download links and the web based services link in the description of this video also if you like this one please do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do hit that subscribe button right now so well that's all in this video and i hope to see you in our next one until then take care and have a wonderful day bye bye